might be morning when they listen, you know. Just because it's nice for us. Oh, we've had this discussion before. It's not live, is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you have to start listening at <laughs> I mean, 9 if... o'clock if you're in Norway or Sweden <laughs> and 8 o'clock if you're in England. And... If you're listening to this in the morning... <laughs> Ah, you sad bugger. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the Australians. They have it for their morning. Yeah. For their breakfast. Yeah. It's, it's... Having us for breakfast? Poor sods. <laughs> oh, it's getting weird now. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a mouthful. But <laughs> 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 Before we get full into the half fights, I'm just going to take a little break. <laughs> See you in a second. Oh, now, we want, door. now we just want more IDs again. Yeah. We're just not going to say anything until it's back. Yeah. Just have three minutes of silence. I mean, it's uh, then again, it's your edit, so. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't want to uh, punish the listeners because Glenn has a weak bladder. No, that should only be on him. It's really nice to see that we have actually gotten some. Um, uh, someone has rated the podcast and uh, given stars and uh, hearts and I don't know what uh, all, all the things you do on uh, on the platforms. Yeah, but does it help though? <laughs> I have no idea. Everyone claims that it helps, so who knows? don't remember who said it but it's yeah if you put your name in the search field you don't have to write the whole name i mean after uh, two last letters it actually shows up on the list of proposals <laughs> so i mean that's a that's a way of measuring isn't it just start typing number one and then how many letters do you need to type before he actually suggests a podcast yeah yeah i i feel that it's better to use word of mouth and actually tell someone else about it. I think that does more than than rating and reviewing and and that sort of thing. Yeah. <sighs> oh dear. <He's> back. <laughs> I so yeah, this is the half fight. This is the laid back. <laughs> yeah. But good. Now 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 we are at the half pint. I, I have one topic for the half pint. So let's just get this over with. Um, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I've already made plans for Christmas. Have I can't make it over, I'm afraid. Oh, I would bad. like a laser cutter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we're on the oh, fuck. I didn't write the wish list. Yeah, then. Uh... <laughs> now, what is it you want to talk about? <laughs> Um, well, I need to uh, ask for help because I have been thinking about a video for the Hell Quarter, um, as I teased in the last video. Maybe we should just make a song for it. And I have been playing around with Udio and then, I mean, should, should it be a Christmas song? Because Christmas songs are, uh, that's cool. And then the Hell Quarter Christmas song, and it just stuck in the back of my <laughs> mind. And yeah, that's, that would be cool. But that got me thinking. I mean, what what's, I mean, what makes a song a Christmas song? <laughs> and then, of course. Uh, sleigh bells. Yeah, I have sleigh bells on the list. And then, of course, <laughs> Jolly. Snow, silver bells, and then follow la 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 la. That, that's that's the thing I got on my list, and then that's a good list. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about high pitch singing? High pitch. Mariah, Mariah scary on. Yeah, that, that's the thing. <laughs> I have been thinking more like a, a low whiskey growl. Uh, that okay. also works. But then it's also a theme. I mean, it's uh, you can choose to be up beat uh, the, the season is here again the, the the snow is falling or you can uh, take it a bit melancholy route i haven't really decided yet but <laughs> keeping in the mind of my 
back of my head at, at some point I need to reference <laughs> a, a hell quarter and also play it and <laughs> I struggle <laughs> to find any Christmassy there but <laughs> I mean that that's very much I'm alone at Christmas because I play the hell quarter <laughs> <laughs> you take the Grinch route and you, you play the hell quarter to keep people away on purpose that's, what, that's the, the Grinch Ooh, that's a catchy tune as well. Yeah. <laughs> Stay off my roof, Santa. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to look at the the Grinch song to get any ideas. <laughs> I mean, the, the a, a whole Christmas album. That's yeah, the Pogues is my Christmas favorite Christmas song in the world. I think. It sure is, yeah. and I mean, you're a drunk, you're a faggot. I mean, they're classic lines. They're not very Christmassy, <laughs> are they? Yeah, but I, I I like the original very much. But I a few years ago I found an Irish cover done by oh, what's he called, Chris something. I'm gonna have to Google that, uh, but it is amazing. Um, or maybe it wasn't called Chris. All right, you're, you're going to have to edit uh, this down while I'm uh, <laughs> searching. <laughs> maybe. Uh, all right, I'll do that for later. We'll post it somewhere. Um, but yeah, so it's it's uh, either that or Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I'm asked to put on a Christmas song, I usually go to the ACDC's I Want a Mistress for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that always brings a laugh. All right, but that, that's that's a good, I mean, for Christmas, so gifts, of course. Uh, a hell quarter for Christmas. That's, uh, yeah, right, that's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> All I want for Christmas is a hell quarter. Yeah. <laughs> oh. My neighbor got a hell quarter for Christmas. <laughs> Attempting to blow up his house. <laughs> Damn you, Santa. <laughs> or you, imagine your kids getting a hell quarter for Christmas. <laughs> I think KJ's probably really good with lyrics. You just need to give him a tune first. You did the whole sanding song for Bad Audio up to the theme tune of DuckTales, and that was brilliant. That was just something I shout out in a couple of seconds. So, I know, yeah. it was very good, though. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> but yeah, I'm crap at writing music, so I need yeah, that, something to destroy. That's the thing though, I, I'm very bad at that and it's, I mean it gets very cliche but then again a Christmas song can be very cliche. It should then, be cliche. Uh, yeah, yeah, it should be. Um, but it needs to <laughs> it needs to be catchy uh, at least a refrain and then of course uh, yeah, then you're going to butcher it with the hell quarter. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> hell quarter solo! Are you going to sing the lyrics as well then, Ivar? I'm not sure because that's the biggest thing. I mean, you can always um, uh, play around with UDO and, and getting a tune that you can envision in your head, but ooh, do I want to sing the lyrics? <laughs> I mean, for video purposes, you could get the whole cast of Bad Audio to sing it and edit it all together so everybody's singing a line each or something. Oh, like a Christmas choir. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome. It's going to be like a, a Save the World video where yeah. you have a lot of artists coming in to just two yeah. lines. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we're talking about Christmas already. It's a bit early for that. Yeah, yeah but th that's the thing though. I mean, once you start to think about it, I mean, now you have all the pumpkins and ghosts and everything, of course, for Halloween. But if you look closely, that they have started putting elves on shelves, and oh, yeah. yeah, so we are getting very close. Yeah, I feel like for me, Skopar Festivalen is 
one of those big hurdles in the future that I can't see. I can't see beyond it in the calendar. And part of me thinks that, oh yeah, that this big thing is coming. It's no no point in starting some of that, something else and doing something until this big thing is dealt with. Yeah, yeah. But it, it is a couple of weeks away, <laughs> but part of me thinks that it's... We should start uh, having anxiety about it now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, uh, it, is a, it is a big event coming up. I, I struggle with... I have the same issue as you, KJ, I think. But... Um, yeah, and I've got, got to get that, um, that slab out of the workshop, and I'd like to start on the scrap wood build. But like I say, there's Scarpa Festival and coming up. We've got a, well, me and Michelle have got a weekend away as well, and yeah, it's really tricky, isn't it, <laughs> to start planning projects? Yeah, yeah. But then again, the uh, I mean, the scrap wood challenge was a lot longer than I thought it was, so I, I, I still when have does a that lot end? of time to procrastinate. End of November. Yeah. End of November. Yeah. Hmm. Which is good. So that means you can plan for a Scarpet Festival and without too much noise. And I, I just haven't thought about it. But yeah, I have booked hotels from Friday to Sunday. So it's going to be like a mini vacation after the vacation. So it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> really looking forward to it. Yeah, we actually start the. Uh... November vacation the week after Scarper Festival and so I'm going I'm going into some kind of vacation we haven't decided what oh, no, how nice. much vacation it will be but yeah <laughs> I get back late from Scarpa Festival and on the Sunday stroke Monday morning and back at work on Monday morning <laughs> so you're you're really <laughs> hoping for rain I am really <laughs> hoping for rain <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've got mm. a, a three-hour drive when I land here. That's not nice. No. <laughs> That's a really long drive, I feel. But it was it was worth it for a direct flight. Direct flights are great. Yeah. Yes. I didn't fancy a, a stop off in uh, Holland. <laughs> <laughs> no, you really want to not have to do that. Yeah, yeah. Next year for Maker Central, I I really have to think of somewhere with a direct direct flight and then and then try to go go by by land instead the last stretch so stansted in um, essex they do direct flights there was somewhere else as well but i can't remember where that was that might have been manchester or somewhere like that's a big airport yeah i mean i, I feel I, I know enough enough people spread out in in England that I should know someone I could catch up with and maybe yeah. get a ride with. Do something yeah. else about it. I don't sure, know. Sure somebody in England would want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if you are three hour away from my airport, that's a bit, that's a bit much, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, I'm more the last leg before you go to uh, before you go to Makers, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plan a road trip. <laughs> I'm still on. I obviously want to go, but uh, I uh, it is the birthday of uh, the oldest one, and um, yeah, leaving on the birthday it feels a bit sad. Of course, I solved that last year by just bringing her, uh, and of course, I could do that again next year, but <laughs> I'm not sure how how willing she is uh, giving the last comment today i <laughs> just so I send you a voice <laughs> message and her in the background oh can you please stop talking to them my head hurts <laughs> <laughs> she'll, is it... she'll come around i played uh, i played lily one of your voice messages the other day and she was really happy with it <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's on a friday she uh, her birthday is or is it a Saturday? Uh, what is it next year? I haven't checked. Be Saturday was on the Friday last year, wasn't it? Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. Okay, so it's in the middle of it. Yeah, then it's. Oh, she'll forgive you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's got got you all week now. <laughs> get get them all in. <laughs> 
get all, get all these trips away while they're young. They forget. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a, a really speaking of makers. Uh, then you, I immediately think of Colin first, and I saw an interview with him uh, on YouTube made by the Road to Success podcast. And that was a, it's a really great interview, but I, I learned a lot about him that I didn't know. So I can really recommend that if you want. To. I think it's just over an hour. It's popped interview up on my him. feed today. Is it just as an audio as well, or is it just on YouTube? Uh, I don't know. I've only seen it on YouTube. Okay. and But I mean, you don't need to watch it. Uh, so maybe you can find it somewhere uh, in audio form, form only. It says yeah. it's a podcast, so it per should be on podcast places. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was a really, a really great one, and Colin really opened up and shared a lot of <laughs> stuff with, about himself that I didn't think he would. So I can really recommend that if is you need something to listen to. Yeah, is it a solely a maker podcast or just about people making it? Uh, I don't know. I haven't listened to any other episodes, oh, okay. so I don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> but I, I think it's. Uh... I think it's the last few episodes of the like the garage build when you you see his wife more, and yeah. I, I think I've, the first time I saw her was actually at uh, Maker Central, and, and she hasn't been in any of the videos very much previously. And of course, he's also spared the kids until they got old enough to, that they <laughs> understood <laughs> what they were in. But still, they haven't been very actively, so he has been shielding his family. I think. Yeah, I think it was that his helper, what was his name? Uh, oh, he had a guy helping yeah. out, and and he re retired. Yeah, Rick. Yeah. Uh, so then his his wife stepped in a bit and to help him with stuff. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the administrator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's cheaper to have your wife that you don't need to pay. <laughs> Would your wife let you get away with what he gets away with, all the safety stuff and things? I don't, mm. I don't think Michelle would let me ride on, on the back of a car swinging over the other side of a hedge, even though it would be really practical for me at times to do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could send him a message when you're done with it. Is that yeah. car for sale? <laughs> I run a hedge trimming company. <laughs> can, can we attach a hedge trimmer to it? I have a spare. <laughs> that no, would I think be a those, collaboration those... I would watch. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she would have a problem with those dangerous things, but the the riding around on really too fast motorbikes without a helmet, that thing I think she would have <laughs> an issue with. Yeah. The, the, the police would definitely have an issue with it. <laughs> that as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so, I'm so fascinated. I mean, the... the... The UK, I feel, is very much like Scandinavia. But if you see some of the the states, uh, um, uh, it's the, what they can pull off of projects on public roads are amazing to me, and how they can modify their cars and still get them road legal as long as you have a a set of headlights on it <laughs> yeah the us is weird in that sense but i saw a brilliant video today and i really i got a bit sad that i did not get that idea myself because it's such a brilliant idea um someone took a truck and i just removed the engine and of course this being america it was uh, a, a automated gearbox um so they just made a bracket on the motor mounts and they just mounted um, an outboard engine with the shaft and everything. They just took the <laughs> propeller off and then they, they just con they connected the, sh the propeller shaft to the input shaft of the automatic gearbox and just called it a day. And it worked like a bloody charm. So sticking out of the hood of the car was a 60 horsepower Johnson outboard engine. <laughs> it was driving the car beautifully. <laughs> That's weird. They need a water input, don't they, to to form yeah, yeah. properly? Yeah, that, that's 
that's the beauty of having a pickup truck because on the lorry <laughs> they had like a huge barrel of water <laughs> that they fed <laughs> And of course, the engine was just spewing that out in front of the car. So when they talked about miles to the gallon, it was how far did they get on that barrel of water before? But of course, they passed the cop on the road and he didn't care. I mean, like, if you'd done that here, they would have put you to jail. Genius. That's so stupid. But I still want to see it. Yeah, it's a brilliant video. Uh I've never considered an outboard as a as an engine for road going vehicles. I mean, you get a lot of electric ones as well, don't you? That would be a simple build. Yeah. I did not think much of it until I started riding motorcycles because they are... I mean, the, the Yamaha outboard engines are basically just motorcycle engines turned uh, ver vertical and some modifications, of course. So it's uh, it's very hmm. much uh, the same technology. So it makes sense putting it. Uh, yeah. Maybe I can do that with a motorcycle. Just swap out the axle for the rear wheel with the axle for outboard. <laughs> Just and... riding around on an outboard motor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you you need to edit this out because we can't give away that idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, we'll I'm, bleep, bleep that. I'm, I'm, I'm in market for an outboard engine now. <laughs> On a motorbike, you don't even have to overcomplicate it by running it through gearboxes or anything, do you? I mean, you just turn it around 90 degrees and stick a wheel where the propeller should be and you're away. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but even so, I mean, if you, if you don't want to do that, I mean, it's just... Uh, you just weld a sprocket to the axle and it's already chain driven so it's very easy yeah. to fit <laughs> yeah how to orient the motor best what part do you want to sit on or have it hmm. <laughs> so you just you figured out you put the motor on the wrong way around and it goes backwards <laughs> <laughs> yeah but they do have reverse but, <laughs> but on the other side you could I mean, you could buy two small outboards and then you could have a, a front and rear wheel driven motorcycle. Two wheel drive. Yeah. Awesome. I like that it. would look interesting. <laughs> 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 Might be a bit top heavy if you align it the way I think, but. Well, the, f the future projects, if money was no object, are endless, are they? <laughs> yeah. That, that that it is actually a, a problem with the, the the tractor build because I can only weld outside uh, because of the fire hazard and in the workshop I can lift it up to the table but I mean I can't get anything other done and if you're putting it down it's constantly in the way so I really need to push to get it done so I can store it outside that's a that's a do you think you'll be able to do the exhaust pointing upwards like you said you were going to in the video? That, that really would make it. I mean, uh, it would look so cool. And I did, I, I didn't need to cut the exhaust because I didn't want to take apart the rear uh, suspension. Um, so I need to weld it at some point anyway. And I have been looking at it and yes, it's very doable. But it's going to be straight in your face, and it is loud as <laughs> that sound, a mother. <laughs> so, but then again, I mean, I, I have hearing protection, so that that's the yeah. least of my problems. I, but I actually think you should put it pointed upwards and take the muffler off, so it's even louder. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? It's 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 louder, but depending on how long the pipe is on but i i did that on i had a, a moped and i just like all right i want to remove the muffler to make it sound like but it makes this very weird like plop plop Poppings, plop plop, yeah. plop sound so, so yeah. it sounds like a cartoon <laughs> engine <laughs> so it's like oh this is too dumb you have to put the muffler on again but uh, that's yeah. a good sound for the tractor <laughs> yeah stick a recorder on the end <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bagpipe. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, I, um, ooh, um, my other project, the, the bagpipe uh, related project, um, I have a list uh, of things I need to get uh, and questions I need answered. So I ordered 
basically all the parts without a controller board and of course the bagpipe um bag, a, a proper bagpipe is i mean even the cheapest one are relatively expensive so i, I want a proof of concept before i buy it but um, that controller board uh, for playing all the valves i found one that looks promising and i i sent the guy a, an email like am i able to program it to do this and i described the project to him and the answer back was it is possible but it's not straightforward either so what i thought was a, a quick and dirty build is <laughs> it's gonna end up being the hell quarter all over again it's like <laughs> all right you start building this should be simple and then shit you need to actually write the, a software or a, or a script that actually make this work so what's the title yeah. For the video? Pipe, for the bag, bagpipe video, yeah. You've got um, the hell corner. What's, what's this one called? I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, it, I'm it's... not sure what you're making, so I can't. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a that's a secret we can't uh i don't want to expose that to the world yet yep. um but uh it's it's just as dumb as the hell quarter if not even dumber but it's no it's not going to be more practical either but yeah no <laughs> it's yeah it's one of the dumbest things i've done probably um crikey after... <laughs> yeah. that's saying something <laughs> but yeah I, I i know a couple of guys that are really into uh, programming stuff so um, i probably could i mean uh, you can get a long way with a couple of whiskey bottles so <laughs> i have a Apparently. solution yeah hey for a bottle of whiskey i'll uh I'll make your knob all shiny for you if you like. <laughs> well, then you know what he's after if that's the gift he's coming to Norway with. <laughs> I'm so glad I already got my gift this year from Glenn. <laughs> you excited, KJ? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yeah but on the christmas theme should we should we should we buy gifts or do we do we get underwear as we talked about i did actually <laughs> manage to upscale the the logo so now we have something we can use for printing on stuff so yeah <laughs> the world's our oyster or whatever they say <laughs> hey where's an unlikely place to put your logo an unlikely pair of shoes i don't see many People wearing the logos on their shoes. Can we get some logo shoes. You want them on the soles, so you make an imprint in, in mud. That's not a bad idea. Or snow in your case. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, well, I, I did. The, there is this company I use when I order <laughs> sh shirts and so on, and they, of course, they have like uh, baby clothes, baby bibs, but they also got this. Uh, like uh cups and buttons and pins and uh, whatnot uh, and then they had actually like not only tote bags but oh, like proper backpacks and everything so yeah it's, it's getting <laughs> but uh, I, I think it was kicked off from when we were think you just mentioned logos on pants but i was just thinking i wonder if you could get some sort of musical whistle or tutor or something in the back end of your pants so when you <laughs> fart it makes a, a tune <laughs> a kazoo maybe <laughs> you make that <laughs> it's more of a I dare thing you. I think <laughs> you say it's an inspired by behind the mistakes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> try to uh, tease over <laughs> some of his viewers yeah. That being said, um, one of the CMOs now has uh, a laser that can engrave metal. So let's uh, let's 
buy bulk from China, like a million casus for a dollar fifty, and then he can engrave our logos on that and just yeah. hand them out at the Scotland Festival. And here, oh look at the look how happy those parents were. We gave their kids free casus. <laughs> Yeah, hated uh, by everyone. That's a good thing to aim for. My laser can engrave metal, just not as uh, not as fast as Rolf's. <laughs> yeah, that was stupidly fast. Yeah, it's a fiber laser, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, very good bit of kit. There's two lasers he's got. Cause he's got the X tool as well, hasn't he? Yeah, he got the uh, the one I was yeah. know, still still drooling on, but yeah. Uh, maybe he can get that off. But that's a good price for him now. He's got the fiber one. He doesn't need two, does he? No, so it's I'm not, thinking it's not gonna, an angle grinder. I'm just I'm just gonna leave it still for a couple of months. I mean, uh, after Christmas when it's gathered a bit of dust and uh, yeah, you realize you can just as well sell it. Yeah. <laughs> you just... I got a bit of a, a gift from my youngest kid today. Uh, when I found one of the uh, water guns uh, laying around in the hallway and it it looked uh, a bit dirty so I looked at it smelled it smelled a bit bad I said, did you put dirt in this yes and some <laughs> slugs what <laughs> yeah some Spanish slugs why where did you find those at this point time of year but no no in the summertime <laughs> So apparently he put two Spanish slugs and some dirt inside the, the water tank of the water gun like a couple of months ago, perhaps. <laughs> they were very, very dead. <laughs> and they did not smell nice. What does a Spanish slug look like? like brown, like 10 centimeters long or something like that. Oh, yeah. That's the one that eats everything. Yeah, oh, we, call we, we just call we them just brown call them slugs. slugs. <laughs> yeah. They look like they can look like turds, can't they? Yes, very much like turds. <laughs> Killer slugs is what we call them here because they eat everything. So yeah, that's what he'd been up to on his own. <laughs> He's very proud of the fact. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> good for him. You've got to own it, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> Oh, we have a lot of those slugs, and of course, I have a, <laughs> a water pistol build coming up, but I'm not sure I want to put slugs in it, but then, <laughs> you you know these, uh, not potato cannons, but the one that shoots like uh, t-shirts and so on, events, oh, if, you, yeah. if, if you make a scaled down version of that... <laughs> And then For you just slug size, yeah, 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 slug size, and you just pick it up with a clamp. You put it in a tube, and it like thump, and you shoot it like four hundred yards over to the neighbor. What you want is an automated one. You have one of those bear traps, uh, not the one that kills bears, but the one with alcohol in it that attracts them. So yeah. they climb into the tube, and then you have a sensor sensing that it's there, and then poof away to the neighbor with it. <laughs> goes off randomly in the night. <laughs> you know what that is? <laughs> All right, you have... Oh, this is... Oh, no, it's going to be a lot of programming. But, yeah, you need... Uh, you need to get them to voluntarily go into the chamber, and then some sensor needs to close it and then open the air valve and boom, blow yeah. it away. But it needs to reset itself for the next slug. <laughs> so it yes. would be cool. Just laying outside in, uh, in the, no, just laying in your bed in the evening, and just listening Hearing from the thump. outside. <laughs> oh, there's another one. I mean, you can aim it at a, a brick wall or something like that as well. <laughs> you see the carnage in the morning. <laughs> oh, sell that. Put a art. webcam on yeah. it and <laughs> stream it live. <laughs> Oh, we're all good ideas tonight, aren't we? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> a slug cannon, that is. Oh, I don't know. I think I think a tooting box of shorts is much better. <laughs> <laughs> no one said that they can't do both. <laughs> Combine the two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think about combining slugs and farting. <laughs> that feels 
no, nothing good can come of that. But th that that is one thing I I wanted for a long time. That is actually one of these very quick l release air valves. Yeah. Um, but I mean, if you get like a half inch one, that should be good for a lot of projects. But I haven't really. I haven't found someone cheap, and it's. It makes sense as well when you're working with high pressure and quick release. You don't you don't want to buy a, a five dollar one at TMU. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, some kind of potato cannon is definitely a build I want to do. Uh, is somewhere in the future, but yeah, one day. But I just need to find it. The right thing for it. So I'm just uh, cooking up ideas, <laughs> <laughs> not shareable ones yet. <laughs> <laughs> and you can almost see the the gear spinning in your horse yeah. head as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm picturing raining slugs. I mean, with a I could probably get them to the city center from where I live. <laughs> <It's> like uh, <laughs> waiting for the local newspaper, like slugs have been reported raining from the sky. <laughs> I don't think they would be as happy to have that interview <laughs> as no. the padlock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, your padlock video has really want, made me want to make something arty. Uh, because how, how nice that came out. I I have gotten some ideas that is more or less an art project. Nice. Uh, yeah. But I, yeah, I'm procrastinating those as well. Uh, I mean, it, it is good to make something that really doesn't need to be functional. So you just make something for the aesthetics. It's, it's really pleasing to work with. Yeah, it would be good for me, I think, because just the, the aesthetics is the thing that I. Yeah, I don't pay that much attention to, and yeah, it's it's good enough. And try to make something that it's not just good enough, but but actually good as well. You should have a go at sculpting wood, KJ. That's easy. <laughs> I have been looking at getting a, a turbo plane for a long time now. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, don't do it the same way I sculpted wood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that seemed like a hassle. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but getting a turbo plane, I think the, I, ha I had to build some kind of uh, catching cage for that because, yeah, you're spewing. Uh, chips all over the place mm. when um you get you know you get um people that grind stumps yeah. so you get a tree removed and then you, you grind the stump out i've seen them just simply use those um wind shelters that you use at the beach just to contain the chips or something like that would work <laughs> ah cool oh yeah, yeah. yeah that that around probably the works. yeah it doesn't have to be anything overly complicated no, but then it's going to be a wind catcher as well, so you know, need to anchor it to the ground in some way. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, uh, uh, that's also w one way for me to procrastinate is thinking, oh, it's a cold season now, like Horace says, you don't want to do, do stuff outside, it's the indoor projects. And mm -hmm. now, I mean, this year I, I feel I actually have to take take a stab at those indoor projects that I thought about last year and didn't do over the winter time. Yeah. <laughs> because this winter I'm not going to be outside welding, I promise myself. That's... I haven't really set myself up for that, although I have said it, but yeah, I, I really want some project this winter where I just like just sit at a desk doing some soldering and electronics and not not something big just some small like the like the screen box would have been a perfect i mean it, it's not too much woodworking and it's very small you can basically make it on the kitchen counter if you want to so yeah let's try to keep it inside this winter 
You have that gland, keep it, keep it inside this winter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On it. <laughs> I need I need to go to bed because I have vacation tomorrow and I got shit to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, being, being tired must... at work is one thing, but when you are home, then I would like to get the most out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and your alarm clock will be jumping on your chest at... 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yes. I mean, it's. I'm so glad that we installed that uh, projector, um, being able to like uh, play movies in uh, the roof of our live of, of our bedroom. So when uh, the kids come in too early, like, all right, watch a cartoon, and you just put it on, and they just <laughs> lay down next to you because they have to j- just watch the ceiling, and then you get an <laughs> extra bonus hour before you have to get up. <laughs> Clever thinking. Movies on the ceiling while you're in bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's not a lot of it, different movies you can play. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not as uh, I have this uh, OCD thing when it comes to charging things while being asleep. So, I mean, if something is catching fire, <laughs> I feel better if it does in our bedroom. Um, so of course, if I if I know I'm going to film the next day, I put the camera on charge and the microphones, and I have a, a small charging station in our bedroom. And of course, the kids run in and out of our bedroom uh, willy nilly during the day. And sometimes when we uh, get the visitors over, the door might be open, and yep, there's a tripod and a camera at the end of the bed. <laughs> and it's like, but lo- 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 luckily, the, the family knows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what we're doing so it's okay but yeah i mean uh, when you have new people over it's like did he have a tripod and a camera pointing at his bed yes yes he did let's let's not yeah. talk to them anymore <laughs> so what i heard is this whole youtube thing's a front <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it's 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 not it's, it's not youtube that brings the money to the <laughs> to the yard so to speak <laughs> There's a lot of uh, yeah uh, video platforms out there. Sure is. TikTok, Instagram, yeah, you name it. <laughs> yeah, I think the listeners can can Google that themselves and try to find you on all the different platforms. <laughs> <laughs> I say good luck. <laughs> And DM me the results. <laughs> yeah. yeah do, I, do, don't, I, oh! I don't want to know. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do it for all of us. I mean, behind the mistakes, crude but deficient, number one project. <laughs> and give us a top three. <laughs> well, on that assignment, have a good one, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.